the Amazon is very near a tipping point of savanization. If we continue deforestation, if we are unable to, to keep track or to control the global climate change, 50 to 70% of the Amazon will become a degraded savanna, will release over 200 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, making it almost impossible to reach the Paris Accord targets. to find a way to get deforestation and forest degradation to zero very soon, in a few years, and also to restore huge areas. The potential of forest products sitting there is tremendous. It's very large. There are good examples, acai berry, cacao, Brazil nuts. They have a much higher economic value today than with the traditional cattle, ranches, and uh, crops. So we have to find this new way of bioeconomy, a standing forest bioeconomy, making economic use of hundreds of forest products, making those products reaching uh, markets all over the, the planet. This is our great challenge we have to save the Amazon. For instance, many indigenous leaders in the Amazon today, they want to get access to modern technologies. They are open. They see the, the possibilities of merging their knowledge on the potential of the forest with modern technologies. To save the Amazon, we have to preserve the forest. We have to enhance the economic value of the standing forest and entrepreneurs, innovative entrepreneurs, uh, are essential to make this path possible.